as we looked at uh, names and numbers and, and those kinds of things, and then our operations before and after uh, around that, you know, one one component of that um, potentially was a was our was our meal, and uh, you know, our, our meal process was socially distant in a room, but as we kind of trace it out within the room um, post, as we look at as you overlay all of your positives into that environment, there, there was a area of the room that appeared to be a little bit more higher, higher positives in that area. So I think that gives a little bit of insight in terms of how it was, but our, you know, we had our MAKO test on Friday, or which is the ACC testing on Friday, um, had two positives uh, that day, which held them out from the game which then required us to contact Trace on Saturday morning. And you're trying to kind of contain what that looked like. Um, we believed we had most of it. And uh, there's a possibility that some of that contact tracing may not have grabbed all those people uh, with regards to those positive tests from the Friday uh, afternoon test um, is, is the only, only component there. It's, it's speculative, it's a guess, um, but it's an educated guess that allowed um, some of those guys to uh, then test positive on Monday. All of them had a negative test, obviously, on Friday, um, but it certainly shows a source of, of potential concern for us as we move forward. And we've made, you know, similar changes. We're going to space out our what was a socially distant environment. Sorry about that. Uh, I muted myself there. We're going to, you know, we've spaced out our our meal even farther than the socially distant component that we had. So we're gonna even be broader. Uh, we're we're de-densifying our locker room um, even more than what we had previously done. What we had used before was a shifted approach to the use of the locker room. So it's it's now a shifted locker room um, schedule as well as a de-densified locker room. We're gonna spread out more on the sidelines with regards to chairs and benches and uh, really, really dig deep and hold our players um, into a, a kind of a zero tolerance with regards to mass, mask usage moving forward. So those are the areas that we've identified to try to help ourselves prevent this from happening again. And uh, so that our guys continue to move forward through the season. They've done a great job through this. Um, they've worked really hard over the last week to get this thing under control. And uh, I think we've got you know, we've got one foot on the brake a little bit still, but uh, I think all of us feel a lot better about where we're at now relative to 10 days ago.